Hey guys, Newfound King here. We'll be playing a different game. We'll be playing Getting Over It with Bennett Foddy. We're gonna test my more more mellow personality against a rage-inducing game. I did play it once before, uh, a while back, and I didn't beat it. I uh, got pretty close, but then I ended up failing and I never really came back to it so here we are we're gonna try it again and hopefully get some good some good progress so from what I understand it's all just the mouse and the controls are a bit weird alright cool Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm already feeling... This feels so different already. Hold on. We'll just set ourselves there. And then I believe we can just hook here. And then pull ourselves up and over just calm and gentle <laughs> I'm already struggling wait I remember seeing a push and then Nope. There's no feeling more intense than oh. starting over. <laughs> you Oops. your homework the day before it was due, as I have. Let's or just try. Oh, that that ended up working. An if you want some money at the casino, you only put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you want an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just return to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting There we go. If you're not nice ready and for easy. That, like and then you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to we'll go through might be too much. Project all ourselves. Away. I'll be here. Cool. And then just a little flick. Beautiful. Cool. All right. So we're making some good progress. I'll understand if you have to take a break. And then just find can we reach it? Stop and quit the game. Don't worry. I'll save your progress always, even your mistakes. Ooh, that was close. I almost pushed myself off. This game is a homage to a free game uh, from 2002 titled Sexy Hiking. Sexy Hiking. The author of that game is Jazzo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B games. And B games can are rough myself? assemblages yeah. of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building then, up than as polished products. Nope. And then up. Nope. And then up. Nope. Am I able to balance it? No. Okay, let's. There we go. And then. And then this one might be a little tricky. We'll set ourselves down right there. Move it. In a Pop. certain way, nope. sexy hiking is the I almost pushed body. myself off there. That would have been funny. It's built almost entirely out of bound and oh, parts. There we go. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its time. In it, your task is simply to drag yourself up a mountain with a hammer. That act of climbing in the digital world or in real life has certain essential properties that give the game its flavor. No amount of forward progress is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling. I'm super hard back. focusing. And up. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. That might have been bad. <clears throat> now, how do I get up there? Can we try another jump? Is that too far? Anyway, when oh. you start sexy hiking, 
You're standing nice. next to this dead tree that blocks the way to the entire rest of the game. And cool. It might take you an hour to get over that tree. And a lot of people never got past it. Prod and poke at it, exploring. Oh, I don't need to jump, I can just hook just myself here. Trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. And Most obstacles boom. in video game worlds are No, I fell. You can be completely confident in your ability to get Can we just them. nope once you have the correct can we, uh, or the correct oh, nice. just by spending enough time. In that sense, we'll every just drop ourselves obstacle in sexy hiking is real. The obstacles in sexy whoop, hiking are unyielding. Nope. And that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make a frustrating game. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this Cool. Game. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. But I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. Uh, it almost, like we almost got that. To get past the new obstacle it was my fault, as a player, uh. rather than as a builder. Imaginary mountains build themselves from our efforts to climb them. And it's our repeated attempts to reach the summit that turns those mountains into something real. And are we able to... building a video game world, you're building no. with ideas. And that can be like working with quickset cement. You mold your ideas into a certain shape that can be played with. Whoop. And in the process of playing with them, they begin to... That's cool that the light vibrates when you hit it. Like rock. And at that point, you can't change the world. Not without breaking it into pieces and starting fresh with new ideas. <laughs> My mouse is going all over the place. <laughs> oh. Can we just... Oh, no. What if I just... Err... Uh, up onto the rock? No. Nice. And then if I... Leave some tension. Uh, almost, we almost got it. Oh, oh, that worked out unintentionally. And then, whoop. For years now, people have been thinking that games would soon be made out of prefabricated objects, bought in a store and assembled into a world. Oops. And for the Oopsies. most part, that hasn't happened. Because the objects in the store are <laughs> trash. I don't mean they look bad or that they're badly made. Although a lot Can of I reach that? No. I mean they're trash in the way that food becomes trash as soon as there. You and the then scene. things are made to be consumed and used in a certain context. And once the moment is gone, they transform into garbage. In the context of technology, uh, I should have just let it fall instead sense. of trying to climb. My bad. Oh. <laughs> Oh, nice, nice, nope. And... Whoop. Okay, we got this, we got this. Just nice, oh. Almost, we almost got it. There we go. Oh. <laughs> One, two, nope. One. Two, three, ah, oh, almost, we almost got it. I need to move my mouse up because it's sliding down. Oh. One, two, three, eight, oh. One, two, nope. One, nope, almost. <laughs> oh, that could have been bad. And I'm actually hard struggling with this part. Okay, one, two, three, four, over time, with five more, more refuse into this vast digital landfill that we call the internet. All right. Now vastly outnumbers. And, and then I think I'm supposed to go and untainted and unused. This way. When everything around us is cultural trash, trash becomes the new medium. The lingua franca of the digital age. And you could build culture out of trash. But only trash culture. B games, B movies, B music, B philosophy. And am I able to like pull myself oh yeah. 
Oh, could have been bad. Oh, nice. And then, oh, and then, oh, and then, oh. And Maybe this oh. is what digital culture is. And oh. A monstrous mountain of trash. And the oh. Of creativity's fountain. Let's not trash a that. With everything we ever thought of in it. Grand, infinite, and unsorted. Slow and steady. Oh, oh we're getting stuck. <clears throat> Alright. And there we go. There's three D oh. models of breakfast. Gen X's fanfic novels, scan magazines, oh, green that could have been Shia LaBeouf, so bad. and stuff scenes on Live Leak. Facebook's got lifelike bots with unbranded adverts and candid shots of Kanye and Taylor Swift mashups, car crash epic failed gifs, Russian dash cam vids, discussions of McRibs, discarded, forgotten, unrecycled, muddled, rotten, untitled. And everything's fresh oh. for about six seconds uh -oh. until some newer thing beckons. Oh, that Keep could have been fresh. so bad. There's years of persevering, disappearing into the pile, out of style, oh. out oh. of sight. Up, oh. up, oh. almost. <laughs> oh man, I'm so bad. <clears throat> oh, Nick, and click. Oh, that worked. That worked out. Hello, kid. The muscles on this dude are, like, terrifying. Okay. And... Oh! Ho, 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 ho. That was dangerous. In this context, it's tempting to make friendly content that's gentle, that lets you churn through it but not earn it. Why make something demanding if it just oh, gets that was up in the close. land filed in with the bland things? All right, this part might be a little challenging, but we're gonna try our best. Oh. Palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. And oh, uh, oh, you uh, just lost oh well. <laughs> That's a deep frustration. A real punch in the gut. He's stuck. There we go. And up. And then about there. Oh, oh. <laughs> that could have been so bad. Up. Uh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> uh, we do the up and at him. There, nice. I'm gonna end up falling at this rate. Up, up. Oh. go there we go and whoop oh uh. Oof. sorry about that <laughs> I know this is probably the riskiest way to do that but Oh well. <laughs> the heart always stops. Alright. One. Two. One of these days I'm gonna like end up launching myself off the off the edge. <laughs> and there we go. And one. Nope. No. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. Uh. <laughs> it's always that one part. It's always that one part that gets me. Oh. 
that's a bad idea. That's a bad. Alley up, alley up, alley up, and up, and oh! <laughs> that would have been a life ender. There we go. Oh, it happened again. Oh well. Keep on trying. Don't let it get to you. And my mouse is going all over the place. Like <clears throat> I'm starting with my mouse at the top or like the middle of my mouse pad and then by the time I'm done like climbing it's ending up at like the bottom of the mouse pad and so I feel like the edge Ooh, I feel like my hand at the edge that's the end of me <laughs> oh well I can just... There we go. <laughs> yeah, it happened again. My mouse is at the bottom of my mouse pad. Alright, this was the tricky part that I had trouble with. Whoop. little bunny hop <clears throat> oh that would have been bad there and then Now we missed it. Ah, uh, almost, almost. Oh, this is bad. I'm in a bad spot. My hand's off the nose. <laughs> oh. Alright, slow and steady. Slow and steady. And we're back up. Oh, nope. And we're off, and we're up. Ah, there we go. How long? Oh, it's been 20 minutes. All right, we'll see. <laughs> One, oh, no. And... One, nope. One, almost. One, two, ah, uh, nice try, nice try. Ah, uh, and one, two, Ooh. almost. <laughs> One, two, and 
One, two. Oh, we did it. And we pull ourselves in. And then flick. And then slow, and then flick. Slow, flick. Slow, flick. Slow, flick. Slow, flick. Slow, flick. Oh, that could have been so bad. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, I think we are going to leave this here. It's a pretty fun, pretty fun game. Uh, it's a little interesting. And the controls are definitely weird. It feels like my mouse. Like, if I'm over here, sometimes it feels like it's messing with my mouse or something like that so yeah it's a pretty fun game um, I was a little a little upset when I fell but I mean not too big of a deal uh, anyways thank you all for watching have a good rest of your day